Hello lads and welcome to episode 20. That's right, 20. I cannot believe we've done so many of these already. But I'm absolutely taken back by the support this series has got. Yesterday I was like, oh it's cool, we've got over 100 likes in one of our videos, that's class. We've also cleared one of the two requirements. But we only had 744 subscribers, we need a thousand to get reviewed, you know? So it's like, oh that's pretty cool anyway, we'll hit it in about two weeks. But you're like, nah, I don't want to wait that long. Over a hundred of you subscribed in one day. That's right, one day. That's insane growth for a RuneScape YouTube channel. Absolutely awesome, you guys are amazing. This goal is no longer going to take us two weeks, it's going to take like a couple of days. That's class. Anyway, let's get into it. Hello and welcome to the Borrows Only RuneScape account. We're on a journey to 10,000 Borrows chests without ever gaining experience or gold anywhere else but Borrows. We came here at level 4 combat and we're not stopping till we reach our goal. This episode 20, let's get started. So in the previous episode we got a few we level up, you know, a few levels out of the way. Just like 70 range, 70 magic, 65 defense all in one episode blast out some massive upgrades and he thought oh that's pretty good you know that unlocks a lot of stuff that is very very useful at borrows but what we're unlocking today is way way better and way way more important than all that stuff put together today we're finally unlocking the black salamander we have been working towards this goal since probably like episode 8 since we were using the swamp lizard the black salamander is just really really powerful even at just 70 magic it hits 17s which is class because the food and the ammo and all that stuff only costs like 5 or 6 GP each. It's super cheap. Just keeps your profit, pretty much 100% profit at borrows. It's that cheap. Like it costs nearly nothing. And I know 17 max hit isn't that good, you know, but this thing does get much, much stronger. If you're using an imbued heart at level like 99 magic, you can hit 26s with it. That's insanely powerful. It's not as powerful as the trident. But when your ammo is costing you 5 GP versus the 327 GP cost of the Trident, that's like saving you 15k every single chest. That's going to add up a lot when we're doing 10,000 chests. But yeah, sorry for the rant there, I just thought it was quite important to explain the difference between the two. And I'm not saying the Trident's not the best and quickest and fastest thing to use at borrows, but because all the items have dropped in price so much over time, and because you're only getting like 70-80k every single chest and then a few items here and there, it's probably more profitable to use the salamander because they're only 100 hp you're only saving a few seconds every single kill you're probably saving 10 15 seconds every single trip but it's costing you 15k to do that so yeah i think salamander is the way to go anyway and that's where we're going to be going for there's chest 193 we are going to smash out a few chests in this video but the main goal today is to get these five attack levels out of the way unlock this little beast 70 attack obviously unlocks a load of other stuff like abyssal whip all the borrows items Sardom and sword loads of cool stuff but the black salamander is where it's at like there's 66 attack just four more levels to go there's 67 and there's actually 70 hit points I didn't catch that one I was not really paying attention three levels to go 38k to the next level there is 68 level 69 one level to go and here it is I know I've been bigging up this black salamander for a while and you are probably thinking it's not that good but it's one of our dream gear weapons on the account. It's going to be used for the next like 9,000 something chests. There it is, 70 attack, that is massive. So that unlocks the Black Salamander, Zardom Sword, Abyssal Whip, Dragon Dagger, no Abyssal Dagger, sorry, the Spear, Dragon Hunter Lance, just all that stuff. I love how they put Black Salamander at the top of the list as if it's the best one. It's not alphabetical because Abyssal Whip's in there. Even Jet X know the Black Salamander is top of the list. It's where it's at. That is class amazing to have that out of the way gonna finish up this chest and then we're gonna head over to the grand exchange and get them bought there it is chest 202 37 k just there but yeah it's time to get the black salamander so we head over to ge took out all our cash we're sticking an offer in here for the dude much is a black salamander worth i think the full cash stack will definitely buy for less but easily worth 1.1 million no problem there we go Black Salamander has been bought, new item unlocked, the best weapon we can have in this account for borrows. I'm pretty sure, I know you are all sitting there probably screaming at the screens, being like Trident, 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 but I think this dude's better. I think he'll be more profit, he'll definitely be more profit actually, but for the speed you're saving with the Trident, I don't think it's worth it. Black Salamander is just retro, I used to use him back in the day as well, I'm pretty sure. I think Salamander was the go-to back in like 2007. 
towers aren't buying though. That's a bit annoying. They usually do buy at five. I'm sure if I left an offer in at five, because they're only four, it's a bit over G mid. They would buy eventually, but I'm just going to stick an offer in at ten. All right, so they bought for eight GP each, which is really, really cheap. I'll just sell one to see what the actual low end price is, to probably five or six. Seven, right, so seven GP each. I can slow buy them for, and that's really, really cheap. Much, much cheaper than the Trident. 320 coins cheaper than the Trident, to be exact. I bought a few extra ones there, 10 more, just because if you die, the only downside of the Black Salamander is if you die, he like runs away. He's not protected on death, and he's not in your pile of loot when you go back. They had to give him a weakness because he's so overpowered. It's just like any overpowered weapon in the game, they just have to nerf it a wee bit. So that's the only drawback of the Salamander. Everything else is on point. And look at that, looking like an absolute beast. Just want to take a second here, shout out the Discord I made like two videos ago. There's already like 19 people have jumped in it after shouting it out once, which is pretty cool. But if any of you want to jump in, hang out with us, we'll just be in the Discord link in the description. But yeah, looking pretty strong. Our new max hit's 17 now, so I think it's went up from 15, a plus two max hit. Accuracy will have flown up though. We're going to release all these red salamanders. I really wish JetX added an animation to releasing salamanders. It'd just make the price of them fly up. Just people having fun, you know, releasing hundreds of G, releasing hundreds all over the game, but they didn't do it. And they have all the like code in there for it because there is other stuff in the game like bosses and all. If you release them, they walk away randomly, then disappear. And they already have the animations of salamanders running about because that's what they do when you hunt them. Definitely overlooked that, so they did JetX. Anyway, it's time to take our new item over and start smashing out a few chests. We started at 193, and this here chest, I think, is 203, so we're 10 chests in. I brought over my red salamander, the one who's been slaughtering the Barrows Brothers for the last, like, 100 chests. I'm going to release him and his natural inhabitant down here in the Barrows Tunnel. So we'll release him, he can hunt the Barrows Brothers and be free. We're going to have the black one to keep us going for the rest of the time. So there we go, gonna head over, kill DH, finish this chest. And here it is, chest 203, so that's 10 chests in. Just a 38k one, not good. I was thinking, is 5 attack levels enough training for one video? Or should we smash out 70 defense as well? It unlocks so much stuff, all the borrows items. We'd be a complete beast if we get that unlocked. And look at the stats, 70 attack, range, mage. 71 hit points kinda ruins it, but we'd have so many 70s out of the ones we can actually train. So I decided, I let's do it. Gonna smash out 70 defense here, unlock all the borrow stuff, and then we're gonna go from there. So there's 66 defense, 67 defense, 68, 69, one level to go till we unlock borrows. It's such appropriate gear to unlock in this account, it'll be class like. So here we are coming in with 70 defense, the biggest defense level on this account we'll ever get. Actually, you know, just a shower is 75, and I think it's our dream gear, so. Five more levels till the main goal, but that there is massive. That unlocks so much really cool stuff in this account. So we're going to head over to GE here, sell everything and see how much money we come to and see if we can afford. Well, we can definitely afford a full set. We could just go Torags, but I think I might leave it up to you. Which set you pick, and then I'm going to use that. That world was a bit busy. So I'll sell everything here, and then you can pick which borrows gear we use, and we'll use whatever you say for the first, like, thousand chests. How's that sound? Yeah, that sounds pretty good. So we've got 3.3 mil if all this sells. I'm not sure about the crudel, it would probably sell under. Oh no, that's good, went straight away. See, so yeah, I will sell everything. See what we come up with. Obi Cape and all, I've actually bought and sold the Obi Cape like four times. It means that I've spent like 200k just buying and selling it. So we've got 3.3 mil, and we have to buy one of the six borrow sets. Arms is kind of out of it because it's useless. Well, you can pick whatever you want. Let us know which set you want me to buy. I can't afford arms, that's why it's out. It's like 5.5 mil. I can afford all the others. So yeah, you just pick a set and I'll kill some brothers with it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's a bit of a shorter one that went for quality over quantity. We got those five attack levels out of the way, five defense levels, unlocked another piece of our dream gear. Unlocked all the borrows items, the whip, so much stuff unlocked this video. We only done 10 chests though, so the next video we're going to use our new upgrades and blast out a load of chests. I want to thank you if you've made it this far, and thanks for all the awesome support lately. Cannot wait to start blasting out some efficient chests. I'll see you all soon. Bye!